Hello there and welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this abstract space scene with the global illumination so you will be able to move the sun of this solar system let's call it and all of the highlights on the several planets will change their direction and you will see that this light rays coming out of each planet will change their direction as well. So this is a pretty cool effect. We will learn with expressions how to orient the highlight towards the sun and we will learn after that how to give this noise and this glow effect to the scene, applying several effects. So you will see this is the, this is the scene without all of these effects, this right here. And this is the scene with all the effects applied on it. So let's get right into it. Alright, so I have here just a blank composition with a, with a dark background that is going to be the, the space itself. And the first thing that we want to do is to create just an ellipse that is going to be the sun. Let's change it co its color to white and let's change its name to sun. Uh, made the layer yellow and uh, make sure to align the anchor point to the center of the sun. Just grab the anchor point tool. Grab the anchor point and hold Control or Command if you are Mac and just align the anchor point to the middle. Perfect. So now I'm going to just align the sun to the middle of the composition right there. So the first thing that I want to show you is how to orient a layer towards another layer. In this case we want to orient the highlight of each moon of each planet towards the sun itself. So to show you that I'm just going to create a star tool just this is, this is just to show you you don't have to do this and then i'm going i'm going to align the anchor point again to the middle right there let's just change the color to red like that and then you have you want to come here to the rotation and apply the expression that is going to be linked on the description of this video on the documentation all right, so this is the expression. It's going to give me an error now because I just copied and pasted it from the documentation and we have to change some things in order to work in this specific case. So this expression is composed by two points, the main point and the last point. Okay, and, the, and then we are going to calculate the distance on each axis using these two points and then we are going to calculate the angle that is going to be changing to orient the layer towards the toward to the sun okay so the main point will be the sun itself so i'm just going to open the position here on the sun and then i'm going to replace all of this first line with the position of the sun and then the last point will be the position of this layer itself so i can just type position and then it's going to work and you will see that if i move the sun the star will be changing it, its position and if i move the star it will change the rotation sorry they it will change the rotation if i move the sun or if i move the star itself so you will see that here on my reference composition the same thing is going to happen you will see that this highlight is on the top of the moon and if i move it over here it will be almost on the bottom pointing to the sun okay so that's the effect that we want Okay, so now that we know how to orient the layer, we are going to start by creating the moon. And for that, we are, we are going to create a new composition. And let's just call it uh, moon. New moon, I'm going to call it because I have a moon composition already on this project. And this composition has to be uh, 500 pixels by 500, like that. And now we are going to create an ellipse. Just double click on the ellipse tool and you will have the and it will create automatically an ellipse that covers all of the composition and let's just call it main moon and i'm going to duplicate it and call this mm, highlight mask just like that and now we want to create the highlight okay so for that we are going to use this just hide this layer we're going to use the pen tool i'm going to open the proportional grid and then we want to draw a shape in the form of a highlight okay so i'm going to start over here 
perfect then i'm going to come over here then over here and then i'm just going to close this shape perfect now we can change its name to highlight maybe change its color as well and then we are going to change the color to white now uh, we have to change to set the alpha mate to the highlight mask so it, this layer will be only showing itself uh, on the parts that are above the planet so like that and you'll see that we have it ready now we have to apply uh, fast blur on this layer in order to so we don't have this uh, rough edge over here so i'm just going to apply fast box blur and then increase it maybe to i don't know 42 i think that looks good and then i'm going to change the color of the moon because it's very red you can use the color that you want but i don't like that i don't like that color so i'm just going to use maybe a darker blue like that perfect so if you want to reduce the opacity of this highlight you can do it if, if you think that this is too strong you can reduce it to maybe 250 i think it looks good on 100 so i'm just going to leave it like that so now that i have my moon composition over here i'm just going to apply the expression that we used before and then it's going to work like we want so let's just apply the expression right here you will have the same error and then we have to change all of this part to point towards the sun position just so just highlight this part and then grab this pig whip to the pos sun's position and then change this last point variable to the position of my layer and you will see that it's now going to point towards the sun and if i move the moon right there just like that okay so now we can of course we can duplicate this new moon we can duplicate it as much as you want so you're just going to make a very big one like that and maybe you want to collapse these compositions because you will see that as these are rasterized right now you'll see that if you scale it too much you will begin to see the the pixels so if we rasterize it we, they uh, after effects will render these compositions as vectors so you'll have you won't have that problem Great, so now that we have the responsive illumination, you will see that always the highlight will point towards the sun. We will make the, the style of the, of the animation, okay? So first of all, I'm just going to create a solid. I'm going to call it flare and I'm going to apply the lens flare effect. Perfect. So this solid needs to be uh, black. Okay, and then I'm going to change the layer mode to screen so it will render on transparent and now we want to uh, to parent the center of the flare to the position of the sun so that's quite quite simple I'm just going to alt click on flare center and then open the sun's position and just big whip like that and you'll see that if I move the sun the, le the lens flare will move with it so I don't like the flare's color, I can change its type, maybe I'm just going to use this one. And then I'm going to apply the tint effect just to have it on black and white. You can apply the black and white effect as well, uh, but this is going to work for me. Alright, so how do we get this uh, light and this uh, blur effect? So for this I am using the radial blur and the radial fast blur effects to get this different you'll see that if i deactivate this effect we won't get these light rates so i'm just going to apply and maybe and, and parent some some values as well so i'm just going to create an adjustment layer and call it cc for color correction and then apply radial blur like that so this is going to uh, make like a blur on, on a circle as, as you can see here from a center point so if I move the center point on the sun you'll see that all of the the, the center of the circle will be on, on the sun maybe this is too much I'm going to set it on three or maybe two 
like that and you will see we get this effect and then again we want to parent the center to the sun's position so i'm going to do repeat the same process as before i'm going to parent like that and if i move the sun the center of the radial blur will move along with it so that's pretty pretty cool and then we want to apply the radial fast blur to get the light shine effect so that then again i'm going to parent the center to the position of the sun like that and then we can increase this value you will see that we will get this light shine effect maybe that's too much i think that looks great all right so we have the base of the project done and now we are going to add the noise effect and then the the glow so it's going to be ready so the first effect that i want to add is glow and that's quite too much so i'm going to and then we want to tweak the settings until you get something that you like and then maybe we can reduce the intensity of it a bit increase a bit the threshold here maybe you you have to play with these settings until you get something that you want that you like and then we, that's what i'm looking for to have a more 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 glow on the sun and on the biggest planets so you just have to play a little bit and i like that how it looks so i'm just going to leave it like that and then i'm going to apply the curves effect just to give it this bluish tint to it so i'm just going to tweak some settings right here i'm going to increase the blue curve over here and then i'm going to maybe decrease the green uh, the green one and the red one as well and there we go that's something oops that's something that i quite like just like that and lastly the last effect will be noise to get this uh, realistic photo effect if sort of speak maybe just leave it to 10 and you will have it like that so you will have to play a little bit with the settings and the colors to get something that you like maybe this is too much glow for you you have you want to reduce it a little bit that's okay uh, and then you can just move the sun on the scene and you'll see Sorry, you'll see that all of the light will respond to the sun's position. Maybe you can get this pretty cool eclipse effect right there. Just, you, you just have to make sure that the sun is uh, below the planets, the planet's composition. And you will, have, you will have to have to make sure that the effects are applied in this specific order because if you change it, you may have different results. So maybe if I apply I don't know the the blurs after this i can have a different result and i don't quite like this so you, you just have to make sure of that uh, so that's it remember that you will find this expression linked on the documentation on the description of this video so you can just go uh, copy and paste it on the on your project and if you want to download this project you can purchase through my gumroad page and you can also support me if you want that will really help me to make more videos. Remember that also if you have any questions or any comments, you can put it below here on the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. I hope that you like this video and see you on the next one.